Hello there and welcome to this video for publisher exercise number 39. It's crazy to think we're one exercise away from being done with almost 40 exercises. It's just crazy. So, uh, of course, last time we were dealing with flyers and we've worked with it before, but we went a little bit more in depth with it. And this time we're going to be working with greeting cards. So, uh, and of course, you have different folds through. There's a half fold, which is you basically just fold the paper in half. Um, and then, of course, you have a quarter fold, which is where you fold it in half. And then, of course, you fold that in half again. Um, and if you're wanting to make a greeting card, of course, you can go to your built in templates and then go down to greeting cards. So, alphabetical order, you click on that. And then, of course, we have lots of different options. You can see birthday. Christmas, anniversary, and then of course thank you cards as well. Um, and then there's also for specific manufacturers if you need that um, there. So, and then you can remember you can change your color scheme, change your font scheme, your business information, and then of course um, your page size. You got quarter, uh, side fold, quarter sheet, top fold, and then half sheet, side fold as well. And then of course your layout too. So you can choose the different kinds you want here for it. And so we're going to be doing that today in our exercise. Before we do that though, um, we are going to be working with an envelope as well. So you, this would be the idea of if you had a color printer, you wanted to make a card yourself, um, you could do this. So um, I click on home, of course go to my built-in ones and then I just choose envelopes over here and same kind of thing. So you have lots of installed, you have installed templates and then of course more installed templates there as well and then also blank sizes if you want to just design it from scratch um, and then all the different changes you can make over here of course with your page size being different so either the smaller envelope the idea of a six inch envelope three quarters and then of course 10 inch which is pretty much your more standard size so um, let's go ahead and get started with it we are going to be just making a blank file so we're not downloading anything here um, it says we need to create an anniversary greeting card using the following settings so let's get to greeting cards first so I click on built-in up here greeting cards and then I'm gonna go and select anniversary one from the congratulations category so now they have it arranged I think a little bit differently than what it is here in the textbook you can see as opposed to congratulations, it's listed as occasions and events. Anniversary one is right here, this picture of this wonderful couple. Uh, and then, of course, we're choosing for color scheme, sapphire. So color scheme, we're going to choose sapphire. And then for our font scheme, we are going to be choosing basis font. So basis. And then we're going to do quarter page side fold. So quarter sheet side fold and then wrap layout. So um, it looks like it's alphabetical order. So if we go, well, kind of. So if we go towards the bottom, you'll see wrap over here after punctuate. At least that's how it is on my computer. So right now it's looking like this, except I apparently did not select anniversary one. So make sure you have that selected up here. Anniversary one, sapphire, basis, and of course business information we're not worried about that right now because it's not specifying anything and then uh, let's go ahead and click create now you see here um, we have our suggested verses here that we can use and so anytime you make a greeting card um, there's a suggested verses um, dialog box that you can do And so let's see here if we should be able to edit it. Um, but let's go to design and format. It looks like it might be they've changed it. Okay, it looks like we just are have our specific verse. Um, so this is the one we have here. Um, so we're going to just go with this one. You seem to have everything you need, each other, happy anniversary, very simple. And then on page three under happy anniversary, we're going to type. So page three over here under happy anniversary, so right here, I'm going to push enter because when I click below it, you can see it's just doing that. Uh, let me actually do this too. I'm going to zoom in, make sure you can see. So under this one, we're going to put down the name Miriam Goldstein. 
So Miriam Goldstein. And format your name a script type font of your choice. So select this one and go through the list. And you're going to find one that looks like, so basically when it says script type font, you're looking for one that either looks like it's written, um, cursive, so more handwritten is the idea. So I went with that one right here. Um, and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Right now it's only 8.2, which is pretty small. So that's a little bit better. It's a little too big, actually. So let's bring, <laughs> let's bring it down a couple. I'm going to go with 12 um, there for now. All right, uh, so we have that. We put down the name. Let's save it. So we need to as. So we're saving it. File, browse. Save at or file save as browse. Um, and of course, the folder you're going to, and we're going to name this 39 card underscore your initials. So 39 card underscore your initials. And we need to print it. So we're going to print it, Microsoft print the PDF. So you can see now it's arranged to be folded how it needs to for the card. So um, that's all set to go. Um, Microsoft print to PDF, select that printer in case yours isn't selected, like mine. You'll notice the color came back because I switched it. We click print and we're saving it with the same name. So 39 card underscore your initials. 39 card underscore your initials. And then we're going to create an envelope. So it says you do not have to possess an envelope in size needed for this exercise as you will not be printing the envelope publication. So um, the idea, we don't have to print it apparently, or at least uh, physically. All right, now we have to start this. So I'm going to close this, or actually I'll just leave it open, but I'm going to do new. So file new, we're going to built in, and we're going to envelopes. So envelope, envelope, depending on how you say it. It says to select the arrows design. So over here, my very first one. And then we're going to select page size of six and three quarters. So make sure you have that. It says to not include a logo, so we're going to uncheck this box. It says Sapphire color scheme, we have that already, and then basis font scheme. So those things are set up properly. And then let's click create. Now you can see here it's included my business info, and I'm going to be changing that here in a little bit. Now, if we needed to, we could go to page design and we could go to um, change layout. If for some reason, maybe you made this and then you realize, okay, I need to choose a different size envelope. So you could always do that um, in case you needed to. Um, and then, of course, your size here, um, you can click on for page setup and change it as well. So right now it's set to six and three quarters. Um, if I wanted to make it smaller or bigger, I could do that too. Um, so lots of different sizes, and you can even do create new page sizes as well. So um, we're going to leave it here on this size um, just for the sake of us practicing here, but that's what you could do. It says use the following return address. So let's change it here. Now um, let's first off actually change the name up here. So obviously it's not Computer Lab. Um, so let's get rid of that. And then in here on this box, we're going to go and type in, and I'll zoom in for you. Trying to remember to do that in case you're on a small screen. So, the what we'll do is we're going to put, of course, our name first. This is good practice for you in case you haven't written a letter in a while. So, Miriam Goldstein, and then or Steen, seven two two Wilmington Avenue. So, seven two two Wilmington Avenue, and then Boston, Massachusetts zero two one four five. So Boston, Massachusetts, 02145. And then it says use the following for the mailing address. So remember, return address um, is in the top left corner, in case you haven't worked with letters in a while, um, wherever. Um, and then over here, this is our mailing address. So right here, mailing address. And for this one, we're going to be typing in Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Goldstein, 1933 Pelican Terrace number five, not dollar sign, number five, and then Miami, Florida, 24113. So Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Goldstein, 1933, and there we go. So once you've done that, you check this, you made sure this is right, and of course you scroll up here, made sure this is right, you just save it. So let's press the save button. 
we're clicking browse and of course we're going to go to the folder we're saving it in flash drive first then naming it 39 env underscore your initials and then save so 39 env underscore your initials all right we're halfway done with the exercise let's open up here a new file um, so we're going to be making another one let's click file new built in and it says here create a thank you card for your instructor to thank him or her for helping you learn publisher um, so uh, if you want to address it to me fine otherwise address it to somebody else um, so we're going to be going to uh, of course greeting cards greeting cards and then we're going to be selecting here a thank you card and I'm not really going to be spelling things out for you so basically what you need to do is fill one out um, you can either address it to me or you can I want you to as opposed to just addressing it to me you could also address it to another teacher if you want so we'll do it that way either to me for helping you learn publisher or you can address it to another teacher um, for another class it's up to you okay um, but actually pick a teacher um, this fits well with teacher appreciation week so select one from here um, I'm just gonna start one so that way you can see so I want you to pick different stuff for it here um, make sure you do that so um, and I'll just pick I'm gonna pick blends um, and I'm just gonna create it I'm gonna show you the name you're gonna save it under so make sure you save everything for it and uh, the name is gonna be 39 thanks dot oh underscore your initials 39 thanks underscore your initials and also print it so you do need to print it as well okay so I'm gonna print a copy of this just so that way when I show you the files you're gonna see it there so you're gonna to need to actually fill this out don't just go through it like how I'm doing it actually fill it out and then it says also create a party invitation inviting your friends to celebrate a friend's birthday so we're gonna to have to make an invitation card as well so file new built in and again if you didn't understand the instructions go back a few seconds it's easy you can push the arrow keys um, to do that there's invitation cards right here so invitation cards you can see events baby shower wedding shower we're gonna go with of course party um, and specifically let's look and see let's actually go to all event because birthday should come up otherwise it's just gonna be we'll pick a different one all right it looks like it looks like we're just gonna pick an all party one um, so you're gonna pick one of these here it says make the settings and options as different as possible from your other card so you do need to do that so I'll just select this one I'm gonna create it just for the sake of you knowing the file so again you're gonna go through fill out this information you're inviting creating an, an invitation for a friend's birthday and then of course we're gonna save it so and we're gonna name it as If I can get to it here 39 B day underscore your initials so 39 B day underscore your initials and you're gonna save it or excuse me print it as well so we'll need print this for you so I can show you the files here remember you're not just breezing through it and not changing anything I'm doing it for the sake of the video to show you what you need to do you can see here for printing it, it needs to be 39 B day MR or your initials excuse me and then you're gonna end up with these files so I'll show you them just so that way you make sure you got your whole list so for exercise 39 we got a lot of different files don't take too long in making them okay I know it's fun to do that but you want to get the exercise done first and then if you want tweak it a little bit um, before you submit it so I've got a good number of things here so first you gotta go and finish 39 card that was the first thing that we did the greeting card and then you gotta make the envelope for that card so 39 envelope you can see there's a PDF for a card just publication for envelope and then we have over here um, the 39 thanks so you're making that thank you card for a teacher and then 39 B day 
that you're making as well. And so um, a great idea too is if you go and make, once you finish this card for your teacher, you could always go and print it out yourself and hand it to them. Um, and two, if depending on how it's set up, you could always do a, print a digital copy of it and email it to your teacher as well. So I would consider doing that, especially with this week, at least when the video is recorded, being Teacher Appreciation Week. So um, again, these are all the files here, and that is how you complete exercise 39 of learning Microsoft Publisher.